everyone. This is Justin with Forbes, Heaver & Wallace. We are in the test kitchen today talking about my best friend in the kitchen. No, not my old college roommate, Josh. Sorry. And no, not my beautiful wife, Beth. Sorry. We are talking about thermometers, specifically the Cooper Atkins digital thermometers. And today, I'm going to show you how to validate and calibrate both a biometal and a digital thermometer. Let's get started. All right, so first thing first, what is validation and what is calibration? Well, validation is a fancy word for saying that you're able to confirm that the temperature reading on the thermometer is correct. And calibration is a fancy word for if the temperature is not reading correctly, we're able to adjust the thermometer so that it can read correctly. Now, it's important to understand that with bimetal thermometers like we see here, you are able to both validate and calibrate them. With digital thermometers like you see here, you are only able to validate them as the calibration is done internally in the thermometer. So to start, we're gonna show you how to validate and calibrate a bimetal. For the bimetal, first thing we're gonna do is validate to make sure that the temperature is reading correctly. If it's not reading correctly, then we can calibrate it. The first step in the process is to get a cup of ice water. You wanna make sure you have as much ice as possible in the cup, almost like a slushy. So what we're gonna do is take our bimetal and it comes with a tool that allows you to help calibrate it if necessary. So we are going to connect the thermometer to the tool and we are going to put the thermometer in the ice water, move it around a little bit and let it sit there for about maybe 10 to 15 seconds and we'll come right back and look at it. Okay, we've given it about 15 seconds in the ice water and the temperature has come all the way down to read just about 32 degrees. So we're one or two degree off here. So what I'm going to do is using this tool that's already connected, I'm able to turn ever so slightly and adjust the thermometer temperature. And now I'm going to re-put it back in the water, give it a few seconds, and there we go. It's reading right at 32 to 33 degrees, and that's exactly what I want. One final note on biometal thermometers. These can very easily fall out of calibration. So it's important that when you're done using the thermometer that you store them in the case and they can go on your chef coat here in your pocket or across the lapel of your jacket. You want to make sure that you never leave these out of the case because if they fall, even if they hit the table or the floor, they can very easily fall out of calibration. All right, next up are the digital thermometers. First step in the process again is to have a cup of ice water. Again, you want to have as much ice as possible, almost like a slushy. I'm going to grab my Cooper Atkins digital thermometer and I'm going to turn it on. Now it's important to know as I mentioned earlier with the digital thermometers the only thing we can do is validate them to make sure that they're reading accurately. Now Cooper Atkins does guarantee their thermometers accurate for life so if these are not reading accurately we can contact customer service for the next step. Now that I have this on and I have my ice water here I'm going to put the thermometer in the ice water move it around a little bit and right away within one to two seconds I have an accurate reading. I am reading just over 32 degrees, so I know that if I use this to temp any food, hot or cold, I'm good to go. A final note on digital thermometers. Like the bimetal thermometers, we want to make sure that when we're not using them, that we always store them in their case. Again, this has a clip here to go on the jacket, anywhere around the lapels. But we always want to make sure that we store them in the case so we don't risk them falling on the table or on the floor and having the thermometers fall out of calibration. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes to learn about validating and calibrating thermometers. Hope this video was helpful and be sure to check out our YouTube page for additional videos. Search Forbes, Heber, and Wallace. Have a great day.